Hi, it's Roy Fugler here at Warrington Training Centre again and today I'm going to offer you a little tip about open therm. So just behind me we've got the Baxi 600 and on this board we've got a Baxi U sense which is wired up open therm. Open therm isn't new, it's been out over 20 years but it's relatively new to a lot of installers that we come across and one of the questions in training we get asked is why should I wire a boiler up open therm as opposed to the traditional 240 volt switching? So hopefully this quick tip will explain some of the things that open therm can give you as a benefit. So this is the Baxi 600, it's the same as the Baxi 800. Um, traditionally we've wired boilers up using 240 volt switching, but this one's wired up on the open therm. So to access the wiring on there, we just remove the front, slap the two screws off, which I've already done, remove the front, pop that down safely, and then just ease the front down and lift up the wiring accessibility panel. Just to make it easier for you guys to see what I'm going to do, I'm going to totally remove the uh, PCB cover, which is quite simple. I've already unlatched one side, just unlatch at the bottom, the right hand side, lift up and then the cover can be easily removed. So the open therm connection is on the low voltage block. So we've got the mains voltage block down there with your live neutral and earth connection and typically that's where the link would be when we're wiring up on 240 volts. We don't have a link in the open therm, that comes totally blank and it's the top two connections which are wired in on the two black wires onto X31 on the PCB. Open therm's not polarity sensitive so it doesn't matter which way around we're going and we only need two core wire. So this is the Vaxi U sense. The open therm connection goes onto the hub and it's wired in just there at the side of the Airbus connection. The Airbus connection is for the controller. So there's nothing going into the on-off connection. The U-Sense can be wired up either on-off switching or open therm switching. So some of the benefits of open therm. The open therm allows the control to take over um, some of the features of the boiler. For instance, the hot water temperature. At the moment, the control is set to 60. So that's what the temperature is set at. Wherever I put the selector switch, it's still 60. However, if I wanted to turn the hot water temperature down, it's a simple task of waking the control up, pushing the Baxi button, scroll down to hot water, push the button, we're on set point so we'll push the button, we can now change that down to 55. Once that's done, the temperature on the boiler is now set to 55. As you can see, the boiler's flashing up an error code. We've got an E40 error code. Because it's wired up open therm, that information is now sent to the control. So wherever that boiler's located, if it's in the loft, in a cellar, in a cupboard, the control is now being sent a signal to tell us that we've got an error code on there. I've got the USENSE app on my phone, so it's actually told me that an error has occurred, a new notification, that's at 11.42. So by accessing the app, I'm going on to the menu. So as we can see there, the error 40 occurred on the boiler. So as we can see the error has disappeared because E40 is a blocking code so it's not there all the time so from an installer's point of view he may not see that error but we can access the error code history just by pushing the Baxi button, scrolling round to error histories, push the button again, it takes a few seconds for the communication between the U-Sense. So there we've got error 40 on boiler, we expand it and it's giving us that error code. As we can see we've got other error histories, some aren't dated because the date wasn't put in. As we scroll down we can see there's a lot of different errors on there. Obviously these aren't genuine errors, they're errors I've put on.